Uh, hello guys so what we're trying to do is to change the default folder for anaconda um, we can do it two ways we can either run the server from the location where your file are okay are located and the second option is to change the default location let us do the default location first before the server so basically you open anaconda prompt and then you type in this line of code I got it from the documentation let me show you so here this is the line of code that we need that's the Jupyter Notebook documentation. Copy it and then you paste it here and you run it. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite and basically yes, that's what we're wanna, we wanna do. So yes, enter. Now you have to go to this location where it's located the file, which is C you copy this <coughs> and you paste it on the top uh -oh. control B and it's supposedly Well, my text editor is the one that I use is Visual Studio Code, but you can, I want to show you how we get it. And here is the file that we're searching. Basically, I paste the, the exactly, let me show you again. So I took this path, which is C users, Ushi, Jupyter, then Jupyter, Notebook, donk, um, underscore configuration.py. I take the same path. I paste it here in the top of the folder so I can get it. And I just deleted the Jupyter Notebook configuration.py because if, I, if you paste it as it is, it's gonna open your default uh, uh, text editor, which in my case, uh, Visual Studio Code, but I want to, um, um, like, I want it to be the basic thing. So I put the same thing, but I deleted the Jupyter Notebook configuration.py. So I would just open the, the location of the file. And here is the file, the same name. You right click on it. And let's do the most basic, basic thing. We can open it with, and I'm going to use a notepad. So that way, everybody has a notepad open. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to press Control V to search for directory. Directory. Here, this is the line of, co of code that I wanted the directory to use for notebooks and kernels default and then dot C dot this is this is the line of code that I want to change so we're going to keep that open right so we stop by the directory you search it may come up with more than one result, but you have to make sure that you are in in this piece of code, which is the directory to use for notebooks and kernels. You're going to have defaults and c.notebook.notebook directory after. So first of all, we're going to uncomment this line of code by removing the hash. And then you 
minimize that and you go <coughs> and you go where you want to open where you want to reset actually uh, your directory or your folder so mine let me maximize this mine is here Jupyter workspace I created that before so you copy the path control C and you go back to your notebook we don't need this anymore and you basically come in between the quotation marks and you press control V so when you when you when you copy paste any code uh, in Jupyter Notebook or um, Git Bash, you have to change the backslash to forward slash. And basically, I'm going to do here the same, exactly the same, control V. And then I'm going to hit save and then close. That's the configuration file for Jupyter Notebook. And now we're going to try to open Anaconda Navigator. It's so important that you wouldn't do those kind of changes while your Anaconda Navigator is open already. If it's open, then I mean, it's not a big deal. You can close it and then reopen it again. But anyhow, I I didn't have it open so let's open our anaconda it's gonna take a little bit So I'm just waiting for Anaconda to Navigator to open to launch the user interface. Here we go. Now we're going to open whether Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook, whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. And here you go that's the folder where I want to open my Jupyter notebook instead of uploading each time a new file because of the default folder path this is basically what we're gonna do if you look up here at the files like blockchain tools commands blah 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 I'm gonna open to you here this is the path that I copied paste in uh, the note the notepad that I opened to edit the configuration of Jupyter notebook if you look here it's exactly the same R Jupyter workplace and here is the file Jupyter tools commands and this is basically the drive that I have all my Python files are saved so this is one way and um, I'm going to walk you basically this is going to change the the, the, um, the default folder but I'm going to walk you to a second way if you don't want to change your default 
folder instead of just uploading every time a new file it's it's uh, it's going to consume all your uh, drive sizes and storage uh, the second the second way that i'm going to show you now is how to run this server what it, from where your file are are located from all your files are located now i closed everything that i opened the anaconda navigator and anaconda prompt and i'm going to show you the second way where you can um, open jupyter notebook from any location that you do have files in now let me here anaconda prompt so maybe in your case you should write cd uh, like r whatever your the second drive name or letter is and then you put your file location where you want to open this is where i want to open the jupyter lab where my files are saved not in C so supposedly with you is gonna work but with me it's not gonna work because the way um, I did the segmentation for the drive so if I did here it wouldn't open so this should open for you but for me because of the segmentation the way that I, I divided the drive C it would be just like this cool and then I'm gonna go to where the location of my files are saved oh sorry CD before that <coughs> What's wrong? Oh, <laughs> I realize it's already open. See, Jupyter Workspace. It's uh, I don't need I don't need to to type CD or open the, 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 the file location CD Jupyter work it's already there that's the, that's my mistake so now um, the second way that we're gonna run it is writing without any capital letters Jupyter space lab and hit enter so if you see here this basically running the server for Jupyter notebook you're not changing your default folder you're opening the server running the server here you're running the server where where your files are saved or located the files that you want to open if you look here it's the same files that we see in the in the previous method which is blockchain tools commands github blah 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 and here is even the 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 jupyter notebook that's open but this way it's um, it's inconvenient or some people would pro would prefer it because you always have to keep the anaconda prompt because that's acting as the server you always have to keep it open you cannot close or 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 dismiss by any chance this server because that's the server if you close it that means that means sorry that means Jupyter notebook is gonna clash on you or close on you it wouldn't perform okay now we're gonna go to the third method for easy access we're gonna create here a file new we can do uh -uh. 
text document and we're going to name it Jupiter with a capital Jupiter notebook dot p a t which is batch so basically here 